I El Tempo Degli Aboltoi, also known as Last of the Bad Men, Time of Vultures and No Tears for a Killer, is a 1967 Italian spaghetti western film directed by Nando Cicero, George Hilton, Kaitosh, Frank Wolf, Joshua Tracy, The Black One, Pamela Tudor, Steffi Mendoza, Eduardo Fajardo, Don Jamie Mendoza, Franco Balducci, Francisco, Femi Bonassi, Rubia, Maria Grazia Mariscalchi, Traps, Guglielmo Spolatini, Camaro. The womanizer Kaitosh takes with good humor the whipping dealt to him by boss Don Jamie after he has fondled the wife of the foreman. When he finds Kaitosh in a compromising situation with his own wife, the Don brands Kaitosh, so he doesn't forget who is the boss. Kaitaj leaves but is caught and beaten. Next time he draws a hidden knife and uses it to get a gun, but the horse he also takes a shot from under him. In town he is arrested on a trumped-up charge. The wanted Black Tracy arrives in town on a wagon with a coffin. He is arrested but inside he kills the sheriff and deputy with a hidden derringer. The man who denounced him draws but is killed by a knife throw from Kaitaj, who leaves with Tracy. When they are overcome by Don Jamie and his men. Tracy trades Kaitash for the horse of Don Jamie. When they are to hang him Tracy shoots off the rope and kills a man who draws. When they have left he gives the horse to Kaitash and says goodbye. Kaitash says that he thought they would be together and Tracy tells him, don't think, it'll damage your brain. Tracy continues and finds that the road ends at a cliff. Kaitash is there waiting under it. He says that Tracy didn't ask about the road. He shows the way to the border returning the quip about brains. At night Tracy spreads his black leather jacket over Kaitosh. When a sheriff and his men sneak in to arrest him they are shot by Tracy. When Kaitosh protests against being used as a decoy Tracy replies that he didn't ask, and besides, he wouldn't have been so believable if he'd known. Tracy collects sheriff's stars and they both demonstrate their prowess in shooting at them. After burying the coffin, with the corpse of his mother who died while he was in jail. Tracy sets out to avenge himself on his wife Traps and best friend Big John, who turned him in for $10. They find Traps in a saloon with Big John S. Man Slim. Kaitosh beats Slim and shoots some Mexicans that interfere. He counts holes in their forehead and misses one, the man rises and is shot. Traps have sensitive eyes and wears a blindfold. Tracy tortures her by exposing her eyes to light. When Kaitosh forcibly stops him, Tracy has an epileptic fit. Traps tells Kaitosh that she betrayed Tracy because he tortured her and has scars to show. Tracy returns and promises to leave her alone if she tells them the whereabouts of Big John. She says that he is at Vulture Pass with a band of Mexicans. When they leave Tracy ignites petroleum he has earlier poured out on the floor and she is seen surrounded by flames. At the pass Tracy and Kaitosh arrive to see the gangs of Big John and Camaro attack a transport of gold. They attack in waves and gradually decimate the escort. The two now get into the fray and use his dynamite and tricks to kill the bandits. When only Big John and Camaro are left Big John shoots the Mexican, who aims his gun, but is blown up by Kaitosh. When the bank clerks venture out of the wagon to extend their thanks they are shot by Tracy, who then pursues Big John while Kaitosh kisses the gold. Tracy catches Big John and drags him through the mud and proceeds to screw his hands into a door. Kaitosh protests and then shoots Big John. He rides off saying you know where to find me. Tracy cries out he should have suffered a lot more and has another fit. In town Tracy finds Kaitosh spending money on drink and women. Kaitosh wants to divide the loot and stay there, ending their partnership. Tracy loads all gold on his horse and goes inside the cantina, where he fingers his gun while he observes Kaitosh dancing. When he violently refuses a prostitute there starts a gunfight that develops into a shootout with soldiers. The horse carrying the loot cannot be reached, and they escape on other horses. Afterwards Kaitosh is upset and starts a fist fight. When Tracy gets the worst of it he draws his derringer, but has a fit when he is about to shoot. Kaitosh takes the derringer and holds him during the attack, and when he afterwards is to leave Tracy calls out for him. Tracy recovers in sickbed by the priest in the parish of Don Jamie. He is about to draw at Kaitosh's back when he hears about Don Jamie's cattle business and suggests that the two rob him. They are let in at night by the servant girl Rubia. She wants Kaitosh to ask Don Jamie for forgiveness and then marry her. He says he will take her with him. Kaitosh and Tracy break into Don Jamie's bedroom. 
Kaitosh beats Don Janey. Rubia enters and tries to stop him. When she calls for help, Tracy shoots her. As the cash is deposited in the bank, Kaitosh takes Don Janey's wife as a hostage for $90. They take position in the church. The wife comes on to Kaitosh, but is rejected. The priest arrives with the ransom, which turns out to be paper. Tracy shoots him. Don Jamie orders his men to attack a dog. They suffer casualties but take the horses. They withdraw when Tracy takes the wife up in the bell tower, shoots at the bell and threatens to kill her. The wife convinces Tracy that they should leave together and take the money that she says is hidden at the ranch, but Kaitosh stops them. He returns Tracy's gun when he sees fresh horses outside the church. Don Jamie is in the church with the money. He gives his word of honor that they are free to leave. Tracy now points his gun at Kaitosh. He says that the wife goes with him and as for Don Jamie he never leaves a witness. Kaitosh provokes Tracy by scorning him for being a poor epileptic. He takes one shot without visible effect and then draws Tracy's derringer, your own little trick, and shoots him several times, saying that he should have done that the moment they met. Don Jamie leaves him the money, but Kaitosh says he will trade it for a horse. Don Jamie helps Kaitosh up in the saddle and waves his men off. He sees blood on his hand and calls out to Kaitosh, but the latter continues writing. I.L. Tempo Degli and Voltoi was shown as part of a retrospective on Spaghetti Western at the 64th Venice International Film Festival in 2007. In his investigation of narrative structures in Spaghetti Western films, Friedland writes that I.L. Tempo Degli and Voltoi, this dark and twisted tale, basically presents a variation on the stories of Spaghetti Western films like Death Rides a Horse and Day of Anger about the relationship between an older gunfighter and a younger protagonist, who joins him and later confronts him, and he further traces the root of this type of plot to the play between the younger and the older bounty killer in for a few dollars more. Also, when Tracy's disgust for women causes the loss of their booty, it is a reversal of the situation in Django, and several other films in its wake, where the hero's quest for money brings the loss or brutalization of his woman. Fridlund compares the ending with Chuck Mall and also the American Western chain.